Hello, I'm Alvita Yule, and I'd like to thank you for your interest in Hope House Foundation. Hope House is a private, nonprofit agency dedicated to helping people with intellectual disabilities participate fully in community life. Hope House believes that individuals with disabilities should be afforded the same opportunities as you and me to lead happy, fulfilling, and self-directed lives. We appreciate you taking the time to learn more about Hope House Foundation, our mission, services, and more specifically, career opportunities. This video offers a real-life glimpse into the responsibilities and daily duties of a direct support worker. The job of providing support to people with developmental disabilities is often rewarding, interesting, and fun, but it can also be physically and mentally demanding. Hope House Foundation wants you to make an informed decision about whether a career in direct support is for you. We also want you to understand how important it is for employees to be committed to their jobs and to the people receiving services. This is not a job where you come and stay only a few months to earn some extra cash. Establishing good rapport with the people you support is essential and it takes time to develop. Think about your own life. Most of us can relate to feeling anxious when we have to find a new doctor or a dentist, a child care provider, or even a new hairstylist. Imagine how difficult your life would be if those people changed every few months. Well, it's the same for the people Hope House supports. They want consistency and stability in their lives and relationships. It's also essential to their well-being. We hope you enjoy this realistic job preview and by the end have a better understanding of our agency and what it takes to be a direct support staff person at Hope House Foundation. We're looking for reliable, committed, kind and talented individuals who want to make the world a better place. Hope House Foundation was founded in 1964 by a group of parents who were seeking an alternative to institutionalization for their adult children who had intellectual and developmental disabilities. Over time, Hope House Foundation realized that the individuals receiving services were interested in having more privacy in their living arrangements, more choices in their day-to-day -day lives, and greater involvement with the community than the group homes allowed. Today, Hope House Foundation provides individualized support for over 100 adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities in the neighborhoods throughout Southampton Roads. The people we support have disabilities ranging from mild to profound. Yet, with Hope House, all live successfully in the community. Hope House believes that the people receiving support have the right to participate in community life in the fullest extent possible and to control their own destinies. An ordinary life is an extraordinary thing. And this is where people like you come into the Hope House picture. I originally started here in 1985 working part-time um, in the group homes and did that for about a year, uh, left and then came back in 1989, um, in March of 1989 as a director. If you just think about what you go through every day from the time you get up until the time you go to bed at night um, and all of those tasks and all of those things that you do, someone who comes to work here, their job is to support folks in doing that exact same thing. You have to be flexible. Um, you'd have to be able to go with the flow and not really be attached to any certain schedule or the way things were supposed to happen. Um, you'd have to be able to hit the ground running every day um, because things are going to change because we support people. People's lives change. So that's what we'll do. We'll go grocery shopping, come back, put the groceries away, clean, and if they want to go back out, I take them back out. So that's getting up in the morning, that's support in the bathroom, that's support the shower, support at the, on the toilet for some folks. Um, but it also is the fun things, and it's going shopping and going out to dinner or going to the gym. It's all the stuff that you and I do. It's the exact same thing every day. Hope House, you literally, your mind needs to be there physically, mentally, spiritually. You just, Hope House needs you 100%. You know, the person that you work with, it's either all or it's nothing. Helping people make dinners, grocery shopping. Um, I still have a phobia of laundry, did a lot of laundry. Um, helping people clean their apartments, getting out and about in the community. Um, just day-to-day -day things that we all do. 
I didn't have any experience with direct service before I came. Um, so I think that that's sometimes tough. It's hard to understand what you're doing if you've never done it before. I remember my interview with, with hiring and being told about all this stuff and then meeting with the team leader and kind of being told all this stuff again. It was really different the first time I had to do it. Cleaning, laundry, um, and they will assist you. They will help you. Well, pretty much you're assisting them. I would explain to you that it's part of your job to clean the bathroom. I don't take it that way as far as like I'm not their maid because they need their assistance. You know, we have the ability where we can just go to the bathroom. Whereas sometimes, you know, they may walk too slow or they might not realize what's going on and things happen and we're responsible for cleaning that. It was probably my third or fourth day at the team um, and there was a young man who needed help with a shower. Um, and I'd, I'd done the shadow shift and I'd seen someone else do this, but it was really different when it was just me and him in his apartment and he's ready to take a shower. Um, and I was I felt a little bit unprepared for that. There's been times since then when I walk into the room and there's stuff all over the place because he tried to get to the bathroom. So we congratulated him for that, for trying. You know, um, even though at the same time it's like, oh, God, I just wish he stayed in one place. <laughs> so, but you know, it's part of the job. I get up and I go to his apartment and I knock on the door and he's still asleep, so I go inside and I go down to his bedroom and I'm like, hey, good morning, I'm here, it's time to get up. Um, and he doesn't want to get up and we go through that bit. So I say, well, I'm going to go work on breakfast and when you're ready to take a shower, you just meet me down here. Because that's kind of the script that we were using. Um, and he does, but he's, he's ready for a shower. He's naked at this point. So I'm making eggs and there's this naked 19-year-old standing outside the kitchen going, I'm ready to take a shower now. Yeah, fun. It's a good place to work. It really is. I just love it. I learn a lot about myself. When someone comes into your life and they share time with you, share experiences. They taught me how to ride a three-wheel bicycle. I couldn't do it. They taught me. So I learned from them, they learned from me. Well, I think the first thing that we try to help staff understand is that behavior is communication for all of us. And that the reason that I use behavior to communicate things really is the same reason that people with disabilities do. And so if someone is using a behavior that's really disruptive, if they're yelling or screaming or throwing things at you or kicking you out of their apartment, our first stop should be, what are they telling us? What's not working? Because like you and I, if our life works for us, we behave better. When our life is not working, we're grouchy. And so if someone's having a hard day, there's something that's not right. And our job is to figure out what it is. Some of the challenges of, of being a team and working with people we support directly um, is, you know, some of it's organizational. We're, we're short tonight. There's not enough people to work. Um, so having to juggle a lot of responsibilities. Um, sometimes it's really hard when people are having a bad day. You know, say I come in and Mike doesn't feel good, he doesn't want to get out of bed, you know, we have schedule hour to hour, um, may not feel like eating, I try to leave, doesn't want me to leave, and they will yell at you, they will curse at you. I was hit, I've been hit more than once, and I was like, wow, why are you, you know, why are you doing this to me, what did I do to you? And it was upsetting, and I had no problem with it, you know, because I'm human and I, I don't want to be hit. However, I do understand that these people were acting out of frustration. So being able to kind of stay in control of, of your emotions and kind of really pace yourself through that is really difficult sometimes. We all have our days. We all have our moments. But you just have to take a breather and just keep going. Number one, I expect that they're going to want to stay for a long time, not just be here for six months or two months and leave. Mark Parnell. And how long have you lived at Elton? 19, 19 years. I like Hoka, I like Lee Sunko, I like you, I like, I like Diane, I like Paige, and, and Nikki. 
my soul sister, that soul brother. I'm looking for staff who wants to work, who wants to be around us, who won't take things personal on our bad days. I got mad at Doris. Got to tell me what to do. No. What did she tell you to do? Clean my pocket. Don't you think you need to keep a clean apartment? Yeah, yeah. Did you guys sort it out, though? You didn't stay mad long, though. No, no. How long has Debbie been working with you? For a long time. How would you feel if she left? I'd be upset. I ain't go nowhere. I'm pulling a book to her. I ain't go nowhere. I ain't go nowhere. I'm Lynn Siegel. I'm the Executive Director of Hope House Foundation. I've been with the organization for 30 years. I started out as a support worker providing direct service to eight individuals who live in a group home. So I certainly went into the group home thinking I would be the leader, I would be the teacher, they would follow me. And what I learned over those two years is that they had a lot more to teach me than I had to teach them. And you know, when you develop a relationship with with someone and you want to see the best of them and you re recognize that when they see that in you they want to see the best in themselves as well. If you understand disability that means there's some things I can do and some things that I can't do and I don't get to pick and choose which ones those are and as uncomfortable as it, as it is for you to be in there supporting someone in the bathroom, in the shower, think how uncomfortable it is for them to have somebody in there helping them do those most intimate things. <laughs> I'm not making lots and lots of money, um, you know, and, and there are some days where I feel like I wish I was making lots and lots of money, um, but I decided that that really wasn't important, and I think that that's, that's a decision you have to make. If you, if you are looking for career and, you know, the corporate account and the company car, this is not the place, but um, if you're looking to be fulfilled and actually love what you do, um, I can't think of a better place to work. If you'd asked me 30 years ago, would I still be here, I probably would have said no because I was naive about really how long it takes to change the world. And you have to stick with it. you got to stay with it. I feel like this position has helped me grow tremendously, not only how to communicate with them, but also how to communicate with everyone else. You know, looking um, at situations from a different perspective and um, just being real, being true to yourself and enjoying life. And I think, or well, I truly believe that's what Hope House represents. It's not a corporate position. You know, I worked in that industry for 10 years and I felt so empty. And finally having a position where I'm helping someone, I'm inspiring someone to, um, to grow, to do more things, to reach beyond their limits, to get outside the box, that's rewarding. And that's truly what Hope House is about. It really lives up to its name. So I love it. <laughs> We hope you've enjoyed your glimpse in the day in the life of a support staff employee. We also trust that you're a lot better informed to decide if this is a job for you. Hope House Foundation wants to hire individuals who are kind, dependable, and committed. And we look forward to you joining us in our journey to improve the lives of people with developmental disabilities.